welcome to the real show barbecue today we're going to smoke some spare ribs on the master built smoker uh, i haven't used it in a while so i'm looking forward again to doing it we've got some friends that we're going to get together with a little later so i'm going to do a couple of racks of ribs and we're going to be using swamp boys original and also this is the original barbecues at swampboys.com they sent me this i'm looking forward to trying it I have uh, tasted the uh, the rub. It's got a good flavor to it, and I think it's gonna have some great color as well. It's, it's got a, a really nice mahogany look to it. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, the dreaded membrane. We've gotta remove that. Uh, it may not be perfect, but you probably heard this before. You just take your little butter knife and kind of put up around the edge if you can get underneath that. Kind of lift that up a little bit. Take your paper towel and try to hold on to it. And let's pull this off. Sometimes it pulls off in one. If it does it, guys, it's okay. Just we're not perfect here by no means. It's coming off too pretty good. It's kind of splitting, but some folks like it with the membrane on it. I personally don't. Um, maybe if I was frying it up or something, it would be good. But let's go All ahead. Right, so let's go ahead, off. and we're gonna put. Our olive oil on here. Rub this down. We're going to have to bend that the master build that I have. I think it's a 30 inch. Being that it's a smaller smoker. We're gonna to have to cut these in half to um, get them to fit well. If it was maybe some baby backs, you could probably put them diagonally. These are a little bit longer, so we're gonna just so they're cooking evenly. I don't like them having them bunched up to the side of the smoker or anything. So, all right, we're gonna put our seasoning on. Again, it's the original rub by Swamp Boys. See, I don't know how good we can see on the camera to what the angle is right now, but the color is going to be great. All right, these are good to go. We're going to get these out on the master built smoker, uh, waiting for it to get up temp. We're going to use the 3 2 1 method, Johnny Trigg, his method, and we're basically going to do three hours uncovered. And in two hours in full, and in two and one hour outside, and baste it with some barbecue sauce. So we will see you out at the smoker, right, guys. Let's get these ribs in this smoker here. Just a tip: if you don't already know this, take you a little bit of a spray oil, spray inside here, makes it for an easy cleanup. Let's put this on here. As you can see much easier to handle these if you cut them in half on this master built this this size here so put this in here all right guys let's check these out right quick see where we're at and we'll spray this this is basically just uh, equal parts of apple cider vinegar and water uh, maybe about a cup of each a little less we're just going to spray these about every hour Keep them moist. They're looking good. I can see where they're starting to pull away from the bone. So let's close this up. See you back, guys. All right, guys, we've got the ribs off. We're going to wrap these right quick. Again, we're doing the Johnny Trigg method, so we're going to put down a little bit of brown sugar first. And these are cut in half, so we're doing kind of a small little bit of honey. Some of the parquet. It's just hard to get out sometimes. Okay, and we're going to put a line of this tiger sauce 
All right, and you're gonna take and lay the meat. Some people smear this, I don't worry about that. But some, you can just lay this down, meat side down. And put a little bit more sugar on here. Our honey. And again, you can just kind of eyeball this. I do. I don't really go by the exact amount. Okay. And then the tiger sauce. And this is in double wrapped foil. So hopefully it won't bust. We're going to wrap this up. That's how you do that. We're gonna put them back in the smoker for another two hours wrap. So we'll All right, guys, here happens. is one of the half of ribs. You can see, beautiful color, pulling away from the bone nicely. So we're gonna, I like to flip these over and cut them from the opposite side. So let's cut, let's flip this over. And so I can see the indentions between the bone. Look at that mighty, mighty fine looking rib right there. That is awesome. Great color. Swampboys.com. Be sure to check them out. Let's try this rib. Here we go, guys. Mm. Nice pull away. Mm -mm -mm. Great rib, guys. Fantastic sauce and it's got some sweetness to it. Got a great, great flavor. Awesome. Guys, thank you for so much. I hope this has uh, helped you in some way. Um, an easy way to get some great tasting ribs. Thank you so much, guys, as always. Take care. God bless.